Hi, a happy new year to all of you. My name is Miss G. I'm here because a conversation, a voice note for that matter, that has my name in there has gone viral. Uh, Miss G, good afternoon. I'm wondering if you would uh, have some uh, leftovers in your kitchen to spare. Reason is, you know, people who used to help me have all withdrawn their help. When they had that device, uh, President had given me the money. But you will agree with me that such monies you need to invest wisely. And that is what I've done. When you make investments to it, it will take time before you begin enjoying it. Now, I was so hopeful that the, what the Greater Accra Regional Minister promised will be forthcoming regularly. But uh, it came once, and that's all. I was in his office a few days ago, but I was told, uh, as a follow-up, but I was told he's traveled and they're on leave. Right now, the situation has created a lot of problems for me because, uh, you know, a lot of people used to help me a lot, but now everybody, I even understood that uh, some people had contributed some money in the U.S. to be sent to me. The moment they had it, everybody went for his money. Also, uh, in the letter that the uh, Greater Akka Regional Minister sent to me, uh, there was the mention of one Magdan that he had given me 5,000 cities. But it's not true. Recently, I contacted one chief, one guy chief who uh, is close to the man, and he made me understand that uh, the man actually released the money, but when he heard that uh, the vice president had uh, given me that money, he, he also recalled his money back. So this is the trend. So right now, it's a bit difficult for me, you know. So that is why I'm saying, if you have some leftovers from your kitchen, you could spare. Because as it is now, it is it is really difficult for me. Thank you. Now, if you follow my works, you know me, you know that when I do interviews um, and there's backlash, people call me out, people have reservations and they voice them out. I never come to defend myself. I never even come to respond to most of them. I just do not think it's necessary because I feel like it's the hazard that comes with the job that we do. Maybe it's a reason it's taking me quite a while to respond to this voice notes saga. Let's go back to 2001 when I got products from some sponsors. I went all the way to Dodua and even beyond to look for TT. I donated these items or those items to him. I sat with him for a conversation. It was during that interview that he told me that he had heart disease. He had a heart disease and needed help. I put the information out there. Subsequently, I came to you right here on social media to appeal for funds for him, put his number out there, of course, with his permission. And because you do not know what conversations have gone on behind the scenes, I never came to you to say, this is Titi's voice, or this is Titi's message to me, this is why I'm doing this, this is why I'm doing it. I have never done that. And from then, people responded, Subsequently, others went to uh, uh, grant him an interview. It was after that that the vice president came to his aid. 
and Titi and I have kept a relationship since then, till date. Titi sends me voice notes on a regular. You've never heard any of them. Titi sends me messages on a regular. You've never seen any of them. I have never come to any of you via social media or personally to say, Titi sent me this, Titi sent me that. No, it's never happened before. Because I respect the relationship I have with him. I respect his privacy. I never do anything public without Titi's consent. Now, back to the conversation that has gone viral. On the 17th of December, I was all the way in Akwaibom in Nigeria when TC dropped the voice note that has gone viral to me. It was a voice note. And I sent him a message saying that uh, I wasn't in town and that when I get back to Ghana, I'll address his issues. I came back to Ghana, I began to ask questions because if you heard that voice note that has gone viral, you will hear that he talks about the vice president's money being invest, uh, invested, yes, and that the Greater Accra Regional Minister's pledge of 1500 a month came just once and the minister is not redeeming his pledge. He goes to the minister's office, they say the minister is not available and because of that people have refused also to come to his aid. I was worried about it because I know his situation. And so I came to Ghana and I began to ask questions. And then I reached out to somebody who knows somebody in the office of the vice president to ask questions about what TT's claims are. And this person in the office of the vice president was vividly worried and said, oh, we have redeemed our pledge to him and this is not going to be a good one for the vice president if he gets to hear it or if he goes out there. I remember the words, if it gets out there, it's not going to be a good one for the vice president, blah, 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 blah. How did you get, how did he say it? And he said there was a voice note. He says, can I hear the voice notes? So in confidence, not thinking that anything will be done, but thinking that I will get solution for TT because again, the vice president's office has been mentioned. The greater Accra regional minister has been mentioned. I do not have access to this big wigs in politics. So I thought that sending this voice note to this person in the office of the vice president, we would get some solutions and that's how the voice notes were sent to this person in the office of the vice president now fast forward i hear this voice after days on radio how i'm not the one who leaked it i only sent it to an individual in the office of the vice president he also says he's not sent it to anybody so who leaked the audio Maybe we should start asking questions. Ask those who first published it how they got the audio. Those who have the audio, maybe you should come out and tell us how you got the audio. It is not nice and it's unfair to have people drag me, knowing very well that I never shared any audio with any media house. I never shared any audio with any journalist. I never shared any audio with any blog. For crying out loud, I have a YouTube channel. I have blogs I could have published this on. They are not, or it is not on any of these. How do I leak a video, a, a voice note, a private conversation, which you've had over and over, I've had this over and over with Titi. How do I leak this one to the public? I never leaked the voice note. I will never do that. I went to Titi's aid. I've always been there for Titi. If you pick up the phone and call Titi, there's no way Titi will tell you I've been there for him. It's quite sad, appalling, disheartening, heartbreaking. I never leaked a video, a voice note. I would never do a thing like that. So please, let's ask the people who are publishing. Since this person in the office of the vice president says he didn't also leak that conversation, let's ask the people who are publishing if they'll be honorable enough to let us know where they got the voice note from. Maybe then we'll know who finally leaked the voice note. But I, Miss G, God is my witness. I didn't leak the voice notes and for all of you who are calling TT to embarrass him to insult him please stop please stop may God be our guide and may the truth finally come out and I hope the truth will suffice thank you